Hi, I'm Matthew Pearson. Today I'm going to show you how to save a file as a CSV in Microsoft Excel. Now CSV stands for Comma Separated Variables. Um, Excel spreadsheets are, as you know, they're rows and columns that are made up of cells uh, which have values and data and things like that. And what you can do if you save it as a .CSV, it'll take those, those rows and columns and take each cell uh, that's in a row, put it on one line, with a comma separating each value and then a line return at the end of each row. So it puts it in a, into a nice text format that you can then import into other uh, applications that might like to use .csv files. So what you wanna do is find your spreadsheet that you wanna save as a .csv. I've got here an old spreadsheet that I used when I was developing a calculator. And it's got rows and columns of data. You go to your file menu, save as, and then you go down to this pull-down list and choose the type of CSV you want. Now they're a little bit different. Uh, <clears throat> the MS-DOS uh, CSV file has a carriage return line feed at the end, whereas like the Macintosh CSV has just a carriage return and the, uh, the line feed is automatic, or excuse me, has a line feed and the carriage return is automatic. Um, so depending upon what you're going to be pulling it into, you'll choose one of those two. If you're working with something in say, Linux or any of the Unixes, then the Macintosh format is probably the better format to go with. But if you, if you use the MS-DOS format, there's still utilities in, in Unix that will allow you to convert that easily to a unix -y file. So all you have to do is select it, give it a name, it'll, it'll automatically you know, try and use the old name that you already had there and put a .csv on the end, hit save, and it will go off and save it for you. But it'll pop up this diagram or this dialog box right here, and it's telling you that it's only going to save the spreadsheet that's present. It's not going to go through the whole workbook and do it. So if you have, if you want to save a .csv for each page of your workbook, then you're going to have to do a separate save for each one. You'll have to save it, and then when it's done, you'll have to go to the next one. And this is just basically another thing saying, do you really want to do this? Because it's going to leave out a lot of the formatting stuff. Just say yes go through and do it. And when it gets done, it will have saved it and you can switch to sheet number two, do the same thing, sheet number three, do the same thing. And that's how you save out uh, Microsoft Excel spreadsheets as .csv files. My name is Matt Pierce, thanks for watching.